A long, steady rain today caused its own issues in other areas of the Mid-South. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at Shelby County's Office of Emergency Management. Continuing our team coverage tonight, Brad. Good evening, Richard. The flash flooding threats here in Shelby County and throughout the Mid-South kept teams here at this office busy today monitoring flood gauge maps. The good news, despite the constant rain, because area rivers were able to take in that water pretty much okay and avoided more serious issues for some. Now, in this neighborhood in East Memphis today off of Goodlett, the neighbors lost power for about 15 hours when rain and wind knocked trees on power lines last night. In Tipton County's Gilt Edge community this morning, two ponds overflowed temporarily covering a road which separates them. The relentless rain also made this part of South OK Street to West Memphis, Arkansas, dangerous to drive through this afternoon. Those at the Shelby County Office of Emergency Management said because of river and creek levels were at safer levels before the rains, the Memphis area avoided significant headaches. I think we're very fortunate and no one has reported anything to our office about flooded flooded streets. We, we've got a, gotten a few down trees, but that's been it. Now, because of weather maps and wind levels forecasted tomorrow, those here at the Office of Emergency Management don't anticipate any additional problems as the last remnants of Barry move out of the Mid-South. Reporting live in East Memphis, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.